Okay, so it's kind of a day weekend here, and uh, so the loader's running fine. Just need a spark plug oil change, kind of basic stuff. But so I'm going, thinking I'm going to be going this puppy a 16 by 24. That's the size I think I'm going to build this. Uh, sunroom is a 12 by 24, and it's quite a bit of room, so a little bit wider will never hurt. So I'm going to be I'm just moving some stuff around here, and. We'll be pulling out this tree, that tree, and uh, mowing over just those ones. And maybe even mow out those ones, but I'll see. Just seeing what's worthy to transplant and what's not. That one there might be able to stay. Yeah, actually I'll leave that one for sure. But, and then after I got my pile of dirt that I'm hauling over here from the trail. So I say dirt, but it's like sand and dirt. There's about... Uh, well, that's close to probably at least at least five yards right there uh, to bring over here. And then I got probably another five, six yards just by my dad's old trailer there just to try to raise this up. I did start, uh, this is, oh man, this was three years ago I started putting sand here. So you can see it is hot, taller than everything else here. But this is where I was going to build the original small shed like that guy. <laughs> And some parts for Boland's tractor there. And no, I have not touched that tractor yet either. Everything went into the go-kart in my spare time. So once this uh, area is done here, I'm going to start by cleaning this out. And I'm going to start by building the floor first. But I'm also thinking I might just get some gravel hauled in. Uh, believe it or not, price to get gravel hauled in will cost me about the same as the floor. So... <laughs> I gotta go from there uh, and decide what I'm doing. But a lot of moving around to do, that's for sure. And it was meant to be high of 34 outside, which is what, 100 above? But uh, we just got some crazy rain that's already dried up. And it's uh, slowly getting warm now that the cloud cover's gone. say goodbye to that tree uh, I've been noticing most of them that we pull out does get damaged uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to transplant them but some of them are around the corner already but the, uh, that top one I just pulled out by hand it came out easy but you guys see what I mean about them getting damaged uh, but I'll see what I can do and yes I know it's impossible to keep the soil on them because this is so sandy it just falls right off them if I cut around them first I might be able to get a bit more but I don't know that one there I could probably pull out by hand. It's only about seven feet tall. That one guaranteed. So, what are you doing? Okay, come pull out this tree by hand. Actually, maybe I'll leave that one. Uh, yeah, never mind. Go pull out this one by hand. The roots coming that way. Yeah. Okay, well we'll use the quad anyway. Cause that one has to go right there. This one, uh, that one there, I think I'm gonna take out this one. And of course, all the shrubs in between here. Okay, rope it up to that one. Come record it. You have that hooked on good, right? Yeah, I think, maybe. I said you gotta wrap it around a few times. You killed a good tree. <laughs> okay, stand back a decent amount. Stop kicking up dirt and pull it out. And she came. Yeah, well, that tree's destroyed. <laughs> Want some whips? Only a bit. Here, you might like this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> How was <Hey>. that? <laughs> See, that one there, it took all the roots and all, but I can't figure out a way. Again, 
you guys can see my old transplant one right there. That's two years ago. They all died. I transplanted so many trees. This one here, the bark got destroyed a little bit more than before. Like, holy, that actually really got destroyed on that one. <laughs> Just the bark. <laughs> well, that's how far we got. Comparison-wise, uh, that's a pretty big space, as you guys can tell. I just decided to make it oversized because, you know, leave room for trees and everything there. And uh, we'll see here, but just moved all the tin into the back there and lots more to move. <laughs> Give it a pull, see if it starts. I'm sorry, if it doesn't start. You got it. The switch is off. I don't know the switch is off. I heard that. Oh, she's a choo-choo one on choke. Choke's off. Just wait, you gotta unlock it. I have to put a lock on it because this guy's trying to take off on it multiple times. One. It happened once. It happened once, eh? Hey? Well, you know. He did do a little bit of help here, uh, moved the tin for me and helped pull out the trees. Uh, a couple stumps I got to move, one there, one there, but to be honest, I'm doing a wooden floor. It's going to sit probably above it. There's one in there. That one's very rotten. Just moved all the wood there. But another stump here. And there was one more somewhere that the lawnmower was hitting, but I mean, it's going pretty well. So tomorrow I'll be cleaning all that up. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of like an entrance into here. It might actually be fine to leave it there. So I'll see. Logan, are you harvesting electronics for your sex robot project? Yes. Hey, don't do that. Though. What did I tell you about the capacitors? Oh, wait. I'm not... You do realize you're hitting metal with my axe, right? That's a Swiss made axe, man. That's expensive shit. God. This will be the power source. <laughs> I don't know. Well, All the pieces are in there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the blue thing. <laughs> Capacitor. So I'm just going to mow all this straight. Take down that brush there. Maybe that tree. All oh, that's going to have to move. Half of this stump has to be. Look, I opened this up. What? The relay, yeah. So, taking a sweet time in here, but yeah, it's coming out pretty good in here. Uh, the idea is this is going to be where all the stuff I want to keep goes, uh, just random projects. And in there, I'm going to open that up for dump stuff because then it'll be easy just to back up the trailer right where the do muggy is and uh, go from there. But uh, it's going pretty good. This thing here just popped the oil cap out of it again. Again, the threads are like non-existent on it, so every once in a while it pops it off and kind of makes a little bit of an oily mess. Now it's at the point that i got to add oil to it, but oh, I'm shit kicking it. Literally, I'm cutting down trees uh, taller than this one here, up to about one inch. Like that tree right there is about a half inch tree. No problem. I just sliced that down. This one here, I have cut them down, but I mean, it's too hard on it. That's a one inch. But stuff like that I've been pulling out and putting in a transplant pile, but I'm not going to bother grinding any stumps with it because, you know, it doesn't matter over here. Well, it's around 8.30 at night, finally cool enough uh, to come back out here and do a little bit more work. Still pretty sunny, but started cleaning out the hoard pile there. Uh, yes, I'm going to be working on this next before the go-karts. But a few more serious parts in here to... Uh, haul out. I'll clean that out the best as I can. Still got the mower deck there. A couple random running board pieces from the Sears. And uh, started clearing out all this here where a lot of the trees were. I don't think I'm going to be using those guys for the shed. I think I'm going to buy something a little bit wider. Uh, through this pile here for now got that from my grandma she used to use it on her tractor uh got to make an attachment to a point to fit on the sears never actually used it yet but 
it's going to be interesting but as you can see here just got some stuff laid across here for now snow blowers i still got one more snow blower in the city or maybe it's two more i can't remember but they're just sitting here temporary uh got them on this uh landscaping fabric hopefully that'll stop it from uh popping through but i'm talking to weeds popping through so i don't think any water is going to build up on that but I'm going to mow out this corner here pretty much right up to that tree here and uh there's a lot of sticks to move here and then i'm gonna put the mower deck and the rest of the sears parts in there I got a complete Sears tractor all taken apart that I got to move. So it's always good to have spare parts. That steering wheel is going to end up on the loader. Uh, it's a little bit of a taller mounted one. Maybe I'll actually just buy an aftermarket one. Uh, the steering wheel here, the factory Sears one, I can just push on this really lightly and it bends. So what happens is, as you can see by the mark on my thumb there, you turn and you hit the hood because you can see the hood sits up on that rubber it's just a little bit higher than it should so my old roper diesel or no it wasn't roper diesel it was my old onan's uh onan 16 ss16 that i raised the steering wheel up about uh oh what did i raise it two three inches best thing i ever did but now this one here has that ugly seat which raises it up so I'd have to change the seat. This is already starting to fall off here. Probably the kids pulling on it. Who knows? So I think I could get that back on. But I'm going to get rid of that. So it's a roper seat pan. But cub seat cushion. Hmm. It's weird how that's put together. But uh, again, the Sears has been running awesome again. Uh, just have to change the spark plug. Do an oil change. This guy here has been running good too. Uh, besides blasting oil out of it every once in a while, but I mean, I'm shit kicking it. So this corner here, what I'm going to do is pretty much from out there, those trees are gone. The trees behind it are gone. It's kind of squaring it off the best possible. Now there is a stump here, so maybe I won't mow too much of this. I kind of want the brush in between here and there. Give me some more shade where the dune buggy is sooner or later. This center piece here is going to be stained. So, it kind of sucks that I had all that stuff here and it killed all the trees that were in the center there. When I say trees, I'm talking a little tiny stuff like this. This one's already been half cut by the mower, so I'm going to, I guess, finish cutting those out. But it's getting there. Uh, I know this video is extremely boring for almost anyone watching it, but that stuff's just going to the dump. Got a bunch of grand, ooh, so bright you can't see anything. Random stuff happening over here. Again, I'm going to be laying down that landscape fabric wherever this stuff is sitting. Uh, hopefully keep the brush from growing up underneath it. Those sears parts here, I'm going to move all the sears. I had plans to put all the sears stuff out here including those spare tires and whatever else. The girlfriend said, no, no, we should keep those uh, up front. <laughs> so my idea was to hide everything in the back here. But no, she wants to keep it all up front where uh, we have it on camera better. So, of course, with the big pan tilt zoom right there, it's zoomed right in here perfectly. And I'm going to be putting another one up on the shed and a few other things. But I'm going to flash this five minutes. As okay. Yeah, so I can only record five minutes of, at a time in 4K at 60 frames per second, so I had to cut that, but I understand this stuff is boring videos, but nothing else is happening right now. As for these guys here, they're going to wait a little bit. Uh, I am tempted just to put fuel in it, start it up, go. Uh, that tractor right there starts up first pole when it sits. So there was nothing wrong with that uh, besides the fact that it likes choke. So literally it'd been sitting for three weeks, started up first pole. So really can't go wrong with that. Uh, but it likes choke. It, it doesn't have full power with choke off, so it needs a carb cleaning. Uh, next project I think I'm going to do is play with this. I might be moving the loader onto this guy. Uh, all depends on how it acts, you could say. 
but I got to get to work. I only got about another two hours uh, to do cutting before it's uh, dark, and then tomorrow's Canada ugh, at the Burp Canada Day, so I'll do some more work out here tomorrow too. No, I think he's just sleeping on the driveway. He's probably still drunk. <laughs> Canada Day. Well, this is where it's being left for the weekend. It's Canada Day. Never moved any of this stuff here. But, just finishing up here. And then we're going to sit outside, maybe start a fire, watch the fireworks. But, again, no work done on any of that stuff here. But this is the area that the garage pad's going in. Shop garage pad. This is roughly 35 by 35 cut zone. But we're not going that big. And whole pile of metal there some random junk down here but it's a quick update a couple of serious parts there still a lot of stuff to move still a lot of stuff to move but garbage pile for the dump did a little bit of trimming back here brush cutting that Toro lawnmower has been running awesome and I mean I'm shit kicking it cutting one inch trees but there you go that is pretty good so and again that is going to be perfect size Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> New power lines all getting put up throughout the whole back lane. Power will be out for the next four hours, maybe six hours.